The Seat Leon Cupra R is one of those cars that on paper seems too good to be true. Price-wise, it comes in at 16995 which is certainly not silly money in today's standards. Performance-wise, it boasts some healthy figures. 0 to 60 in 7.2 seconds, though many magazines have done it under 7. Top speed is a shade under 150 miles an hour, which is quicker than most of the hot hatch competition, and its mid-range acceleration is class-leading. So, having got your expectations racing from reading the specs in your favourite magazine, are you going to be disappointed when you see the Leon in the flesh? Not at all. Bodily, the Cupra R is the same as the standard Cupra, which, with its huge front air intakes and the sinister-looking headlights, make the front look every bit the aggressive hot hatch that it is. However, we've always thought that the back of the Leon makes it look a little dopey, but we're being picky here. It's when you move on to the performance parts that the Cupra R begins to stand out from the standard Cupra. The wheels get a size height to 18 inches and are shod in extremely low profile tyres which hide the larger brakes that are used on the R. You also get a larger diameter exhaust to cope with the extra power of the Leon's 1.8 turbocharged engine, which now boasts 210 horsepower. To help the Leon handle this extra oomph, there's also revised steering and suspension settings and a stability control program to help prevent the car stepping out and losing traction on the corners. Although the Leon is based predominantly on the VW Golf, the interior is taken from the Audi A3, so there should be no worries about quality here. When it comes to equipment levels, the Cupra R is well specced, with electric windows, climate control, a cracking stereo and a CD changer, with the only option being Recaro seats at a cost of £1,200. Space-wise, whilst there is cramped, as the Leon's sloping roof limits headroom and you may find your knees pushed up against the front seats. So, all very impressive, but it's out on the road where the R really excels. The engine really pulls well with bags of power right through the rev range and though it's easier to spin the wheels when pulling away, it's very easy to drive it quickly once underway. As we've already mentioned, the Cupra R has considerable handling upgrades over the standard vehicle which give it much more thrilling and competent drive. The steering is razor sharp with bags of feedback which is an area that many cars lose out on and though it is possible to unsettle the Leon, when pushed very hard it's still extremely stable and composed when being hurried even on an uneven road surface. Given its VW background, the Leon is extremely refined when being driven hard. The engine note isn't annoying or overbearing and there is little in the way of wind or road noise which all add up to the Leon being a great all-round performer. So, it performs well, it looks good and it doesn't lack the build quality and refinement of its VW and Audi cousins. And whilst the insurance group of 16 won't suit younger drivers, that still works out better than the equivalent Golf and Audi. Residual values are also great on the set at over 50% value retained over three years. So if you do have a budget of under 20 grand, yet you still want a great performing hatchback, the Seat Leanne could well be your perfect answer.